Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! Discernment. Discernment. You want to be exempted? You must understand the mystery of discernment. Most people today have gotten into all kinds, all kinds of troubles because they do not understand the power of discernment. We have become victims, terrible victims of situations and circumstances today because we have lost discernment. What is discernment? The dis discernment is the, the faculty of perception, the ability to perceive the influences behind actions. Discernment a quality of spiritual perception the ability to know the spirit that is behind a physical activity the ability to understand whether this activity is driven by god or driven by satan is called discernment if you use physical things in this end time you will call many good things evil and you will call many evil things good You've heard me say even darkness from afar looks like light until it comes near before you will see that it is darkness. It is a risk to trust your senses and impulses alone in this end time. Those who will be exempted from evil, ladies and gentlemen, are those who will have high level discernment. Discernment to know when to collect and when to say thank you. Are we together? Discernment to see a door open and yet be able to say no. This door, even though it's open, I know that it is not God or it is not the season. Because you've heard me say, even the prison door must be open for you to enter. So just because a door is open, you need to find out where you are going. It can be a door into a prison and you jump there rejoicing only for you to find out that it was a dead end. Hallelujah. There are many gifts you will collect. It's like selling your birthright. You need discernment and let me respectfully say this especially to we ministers of the gospel we have to be careful and sensitive yes ministry requires money yes the man of god requires his welfare and all of this taken care of but let me tell you we need high level discernment in this end time because there are gifts that when you collect you have destroyed the integrity of your life and your ministry for many many decades there are doors you must not enter no matter how open it is and it does not have to be evil you must learn to say no to many good things in your life because the impulse that that faculty of discernment does not give you the permission to hallelujah there are times you can be embarking on a journey and you just sense a wrestling in your spirit no I'm going to teach you how to fine-tune discernment. In fact, let me say it straight to the point. You fine-tune discernment using two keys. One, the word of God. Two, praying in the spirit. These are the keys that help to fine-tune discernment. Because there are times what you feel in your heart does not just mean God is not there. It's just fear. When angels appear to humans, they tell them fear not. Because it's a normal thing with humans. Hallelujah. Touring the unknown will always come with a level of inconvenience. But there are times that doors may seem to be open, but you know there is that check within your heart. What is stopping this trip? I'm, I'm to take this trip and yet for the last three days, my heart and my spirit have been having no rest. It does not mean to not take the trip. It does not even mean you will die. I want to do this business and I just need to sign it. Five billion. But my spirit and this one, I have prayed about it. I have confessed scripture. I know that my, there is an unease in my spirit. Stop immediately. I don't care how urgent what you want to do is. Stop. Anything that has to be so fast to the point where you override that check in your spirit. 
you are only given access to trouble there are many people today who have crossed the lines of life and death or have been exempted from death by five minutes discernment do not play with your peace do not play with your joy do not play with how scriptural compliant it is the pathway to obtaining whatever it is that you obtain because the bible says the manifestation of the kingdom is in this threefold dimension righteousness peace and joy hallelujah there are many people today respectfully speaking who married armed robbers they came into nigeria and spoke and lied to you said they are in oil and gas and they even have five companies say really your life is about to change he said well, thank god god has been speaking to me about favor in koinonia lately <laughs> you see i'm teaching you something listen carefully that satan is taking advantage of a powerful genuine message but some when everything looks right and yet your spirit does not agree stop there's something god is saying is someone learning now go back shalika prando skatiata you see when there was a viper hiding in the woods remember it was when they set the wood on fire that the viper was revealed there are many times the fire of prayer can reveal many things that are hidden beyond the surface layer of what you are seeing i have a job of 350 i have a job of 250. someone says wisdom is profit to that to that get that job and 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 smile forever whereas your next level may be with that job of 250 and the holy spirit is telling you pray and whilst you are praying Shali Kapranda Gadoski Ataba, the Holy Spirit just comes sometimes he will even say leave all the two jobs that's right hallelujah and then by the next week someone just comes and says we're expanding our services someone recommended you to us um, would you mind being the African director of this company for starters your salary is 3.5 with all the benefits per month when the lord turn again the captivity of zion you will stand there as if you are dreaming and people will say you were lucky no you were not lucky you were discerning please hear me believers if you do not cultivate discernment in these end times you will get into trouble especially with men and associations you will need to learn this there are many, many people who got into trouble in their lives because they joined a wrong chariot. It was through discernment the Spirit of God told Philip, join this chariot. And that led to the salvation of the utopian Enoch and so on and so forth. But there are many people, it depends on who is in your boat. If Jesus is in your boat, you will survive the storm. But if Jonah is the person you are carrying, even if you don't die, your business would die, other things would die. They lost so many things and Jonah was sleeping. Instead of him to just confess and say, sincerely, gentlemen, so that you don't waste this thing further, I am the reason. They were casting lots, he was seeing it, he still kept quiet. Till the Lord fell on him, he said, it's true, I'm the one. Now, you, you can imagine that kind of thing. Hear me? I was talking to someone and I was teaching him that a wicked person a selfish person and a foolish person can commit the same havoc to your life a wicked person a selfish person and a foolish person are they are effective tools in the hands of satan if satan looks for a wicked person and he does not find him the next person satan will look for is a selfish person if satan does not find a selfish person he will find a foolish person all three can be used to, to do the same thing in your life. The only difference is that a wicked person will be happy before and after. A selfish person will suddenly realize that I'm selfish. A foolish person will be open to his or her foolishness. But all three, as far as committing havoc to your destiny is concerned, you need discernment. There are many people who will come into your life, they are not wicked, but some may be very self-centered. 
and the devil will still use them to cause the same pain that a wicked man would have brought there are people in your life who may not be self-centered they may not be wicked but they are bankrupt of spiritual light and illumination they can still be used to cause the same thing you have to pray and be discerning judas was not wicked he was only selfish he wanted to make money out of jesus he still led to the death of jesus peter you see that peter was not self-centered peter was not wicked but peter was foolish he still denied jesus and ran away thomas was outright foolish you see all of them they still cause trouble and pain are we together you have to learn this discernment you build discernment by understanding the word of god you build discernment by investing in prayer do not trust anything until you have prayed let me say it again do not trust anything no matter how right no matter how authentic whether your decisions your products your business i don't care what you want to do take it to the place of prayer the hymn writer says all because we do not carry everything to god in prayer lord this company is about to expand i told you about koinonia in 2013 or so, just two years when we started Koinonia, there were already a lot of suggestions to come into Abuja. And it was a great idea. I mean, God was already doing great things. Only to go to the Lord in prayer, such a great idea. And I had a vision. I saw a plane lifting from Zaria and coming down to Abuja. It was written on it, ENI. Just when it would arrive Abuja, it crashed. I knew exactly what was said a lot of people do you know how many people have have tried to open koinonia offices around the world to say apostle we've opened it in advance i told them i said i love you please close it back <laughs> close it and be falling online don't worry you are part of the vision you just relax well god has sent us across the globe you see the way of the spiritual man can look deceptfully slow but one step with god will bring 10 20 years together are we together now i rather crawl with god than run with satan i rather crawl with god one step after three three years than to have a thousand steps now only to find out that it was satan that was escorting you because the way satan does is that he will give you the food to eat after 10 years he will say pay me I forgot to tell you that is not free discernment there are many people who relocated out of Nigeria just when their blessing was coming because a door opened Satan opens doors and there are many people whose destinies are not in Nigeria but because there was no discernment they are still here and they cannot connect to anything going on in Nigeria my prayer for you ladies and gentlemen is that the discernment you need in this end time for every aspect of your life through prayer and in the place of prayer may you find it in Jesus name Amen. one of the greatest tragedies of the church in Nigeria and Africa is blind copying and blind imitation the moment something seems to work people may not understand the altars and the covenants that activate those things everybody just jumps into it that's why when there is failure there is mass failure and catastrophe hallelujah blind copying the second key is discernment please be a believer that prays over everything if you don't trust your hearing call on the attention of seasoned brethren who love god don't call a lazy believer who has never had anything for himself the two things that he had was not god and you say the person should pray with you what are you going to hear from that meeting there are people who have been given the gift of the seeing ears the seeing eye and the hearing ear I'm about to expand and sometimes God will just give you a scripture it does not have to be a flamboyant revelation 
and I will increase your greatness and grant you rest round about. That is already a prophetic word. Until God speaks, please do not move. Even if a door is open, sustain the discipline and the maturity to remain. Are we together? When you pray, you will discern the purpose behind what God does in everything he does. Without discernment, you will call everything that carries a negative semblance evil. There are many good things that come in a semblance that looks like evil, but it is a blessing of the Lord. Look at, you meet a woman, a young virgin, and you say, Mary, hail Mary, you are highly favored. And the next thing that happens to her is tragedy. She's about to lose her marriage. She's about to lose everything. Yet the, the angel never came to say, you are highly full of endurance. He said, you are highly favored. What in the world about Mary's life afterwards looked like favor? Yet the Bible says that is favor. So be careful so that you are not binding the next level of your life because you don't have discernment. Hallelujah. There are people you can be in ministry and God can give you an instruction, close down that ministry. You will just think it's a demonic thing. Mm -mm. I shared with you an experience I had before I talk of the third one and then we'll wrap up. A true experience. I was praying for a family. They had been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And as I prayed for them, I had this very strange vision. I'm seeing the man and the woman and three children running around. And then all of a sudden they enter this car and maybe they are going somewhere with the children and they had a ghastly motor accident and they all, the children all died. So I'm back to myself and I'm praying with them and I said, sorry, did you lose your children? They said, no, we've never had children. I said, you've never had children? And I had to say, oh God, what is this that you are showing me? So what did I see? I now understood that what they called delay was God saving them from an eternal memory of pain over certain things there are some things that look like delay is because God has seen that you are not prepared for the attack that will come with that blessing so he will suspend it until certain revelations build capacity in you then he will give you access to it there are many people who just go and start ministry or start business and in six months you go and see somebody who tells you, my father was a, a wizard, my mother was a witch, my elder brother has been a, a wicked spirit. And you just stand and say, well, let me tell you, I just finished a Bible school. You lay hands on all three of them. The man is watching you as you are laying hands on him. Instead of you to ask why he's watching you like that, after praying, by the next day, one hand is not, you, you will not lift again, your leg will not lift again. And, and you are now wondering what happened to me. The man was watching you. God warned you and said, you just stay. One day you will be a pastor. Just be patient. There are many things you don't know about demonology. There are many things you don't know about the believer's authority. But your blood is rushing. You have revelation. Now you go straight to a village. The missionaries there warned you before you arrive. You ignored all of them. You people don't have knowledge. You now went to lay hands and then you had the gods to carry hoe or cutlass and scatter the altar that they built there. Brought down the tree and, and was laughing. Just because nothing happened in one week. There are rules of engagement. I'm not making you afraid. We have authority in Christ, but blind authority, authority works with knowledge. Hallelujah. There, there were many Israelites in Egypt crying for help. Why didn't God pick any one of them and say, after all, you are Jews. Go and talk to Pharaoh. Was that how God brought deliverance? If it was all about talking to Pharaoh, why did it take 40 years to prepare one man? What is it about Pharaoh that you must be prepared for 40 years? <laughs> Hallelujah. Many men of God have carried all kinds of trouble on their head because of touring levels in the spirit where they did not have the spiritual capacity. Out of pride, I am a man of God. You just go and vent. The Bible says, let every man minister according to the measure of grace. There are stratifications in the spirit. It is true. 
Hallelujah. I told you about my experience years ago in the mortuary. They took me to go and raise a, a, a dead body in the mortuary. I, I went. The Bible says you heal the sick and all these things. And I went quietly. I prayed for the, the dead body. I prayed for the dead body. I prayed for, I, as far as I'm concerned, everything I spoke there was correct. Even till today, I will still do the right thing. The same thing. But for some reason, the dead body did not come back to life. I prayed a number of times and they closed me there. Yes. Can I tell you, listen, when you hear that a dead body comes back to life today, that rehearsal has been done many years ago. Don't make a mistake of believing. I need to encourage people so that when you see people's results, you don't think people just jumped into it overnight. No, sir. No, sir. Hallelujah. I've prayed for people on wheelchairs. Absolutely nothing happened. Nothing. When I say nothing, not even like maybe a little movement. Of, absolutely. It's as if you came to make a fool of yourself there. That's the price it takes for power. When your ego and yourself dies, then the glory can rise from you. When you see the miracles and the things that God does today, that was the pathway that led to it. Israel, you may love deliverance, but not everyone can stand before Pharaoh. There is an encounter of the burning bush and a season of training that qualifies you. The point I'm trying to make is that you must discern. There are many of you, the issues and the matters you are praying for, you do not have the spiritual capacity to receive with accuracy what you want to hear. You will need to tap into the supply of higher and experienced people who have taught these dimensions of the spirit with stability and power. Are we together? When you are, want to make sensitive decisions like leaving Nigeria or quitting your job, you don't just sit down and walk with instincts and say, I had God. It is a very serious decision. You need to dedicate yourself sometimes through fasting and prayer and even call on the attention of seasoned brethren, people who have a proven track record of hearing. That's how it works. Discernment. I'm saying this right now because there are some of you about to destroy yourselves with wrong and careless decisions. Everybody's leaving to Europe. Everybody's leaving to America. Who told you you are part of them as far as God's blueprint is concerned? Hear God first. Hear God first. Hear God first. Spirit, is was in my Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be Holy God's fire!